Hello all, welcome back to Editorial Analysis and Answer Writing Practice at 9 p.m. Friends, if you are watching this video series for the first time, then please watch my intro video given in the playlist to know how to participate in this answer writing program. It is open to all. Recently, government launched a scheme to benefit the particularly vulnerable tribal groups, that is PM Janman Scheme, Pradhan Mandri Janjati Adivasi Nyaya Maha Abhyan. So under this program, government aims to provide the basic amenities in a holistic manner for the particularly vulnerable tribal groups. There are some implementation issues in this program which was widely discussed in various newspapers. We will also discuss this topic from our UPSC exam point of view. Friends, in India we have close to 10 plus crore scheduled tribe population among which almost 45 lakh people will come under this particularly vulnerable tribal groups. Let's quickly have a look at the genesis of this PBTG classification. In 1960s, Weber Commission, they were initially classifying certain backward tribes among the tribal communities as primitive tribal groups. Later in 2006, Home Ministry through a notification, they changed the name from primitive tribal group to particularly vulnerable tribal groups. Today we have close to 705 scheduled tribes among which 75 tribes are referred as particularly vulnerable tribal groups. They are present in 18 states and one union territory. Odisha has the highest number of PBTG with 13 PBTGs followed by Andhra Pradesh with 12 PBTGs. Right? Before going further let us try to discuss and understand the issues faced by tribes and particularly vulnerable tribal groups. The first important issue is the displacement because they do not have a strong land rights whenever government comes up with some development projects inside the forest areas, mining, hydroelectric power project or because of rapid industrialization, expansion of urbanization, industries, urban centers, uh, we see displacement of tribes because this uh, urbanization or development of industries that results in encroachment of or the clearance of forests. So tribes who are largely living in the forest areas are getting displaced because of poor land rights they are becoming more vulnerable to these problems right and they do not have much access to basic amenities like education health and various other government policies and schemes right apart from that they are uh, traditional livelihoods are not having good patronage today. Many tribal products are not having sufficient patronage today because of which their livelihood, the traditional livelihood is also uh, not providing them sustainable income. All right? Then apart from that, we have uh, the regular uh, discrimination, marginalization, exclusion of uh, tribal groups particularly vulnerable tribal groups from the mainstream opportunities and also Tribal political representation is fine, but the particular vulnerable tribal to political representation is much, much poor. That is also one issue which they face because of lack of political representation, their issues are becoming unheard, right? So these are some issues which are uh, general to tribes and also specific to particularly vulnerable tribal groups. In order to address the issues, government has come up with various schemes for tribes in general. For example, we have Pradhan Mandri, Adi Adash Gram Yojana, we have Ekalavya model residential school for tribes, we have integrated tribal development program, right. So like this we have various schemes to improve the uh, tribal communities in general, right. We have uh, uh, scheduled tribes and other forest dwellers forest rights act 2006, there are legislations as well to protect their rights. But however, with respect to specific to particularly vulnerable tribal groups, government is coming up with various initiatives. For example, government came with uh, Pradhan Mandri PVTG development mission in 2023. As, per, as a part of this mission, government has come up with uh, PM Janman scheme, Pradhan Mandri Janjati Adivasi Nyaya Maha Abhyan with an outlay of 24,000 crores. Under this program, government uh, aims to intervene in 11 specific areas to provide them a holistic uh, development. Right? See, we were discussing about various issues. They do not have proper land rights. This Pradhan Mandri Janman scheme aims to provide concrete houses, pakka houses as a part of this program concrete houses will be given to the PVTGs specific to PVTGs right so their land rights is to some extent protected under the PM Janman scheme access to education access to health sectors are being specified see with respect to uh, hospitals see, primary health care centers cannot be set up in every nook and corner 
PBTGs relatively they remain isolated from the mainstream society. Uh, to for creating a uh, primary uh, healthcare center in the PBTG settlement area is going to be challenging. So under this PM German scheme, government is creating mobile hospital units. So let's say an ambulance, the facilities and the doctors can move to the PBTG areas and they can address their health issues. So under the PM German scheme, housing is being provided, access to education, access to health services are being provided. We were discussing about the issue of loss of traditional livelihood. So under the PM German scheme, government is trying to provide uh, skill training, vocational training so that they are able to get uh, access to new opportunities in the market. Right. Similarly, um, the government as a part of PM Genman scheme aims to provide road connectivity, water connectivity, sanitation uh, connectivity. Right. Government also aims to provide energy generation of households, that is power connectivity. Wherever uh, ensuring power connectivity is difficult, the government is trying to provide solarization of households in such inaccessible areas. And also government aims to set up self-help groups right, for PBTG exclusively. Okay, self-help groups and the federation of self-help groups will be created to convert self-help groups into production unit specifically for the PBTGs. All these interventions are done through this PM Genman scheme. So for this program, government is allocating 24,000 crores, right? Almost nine ministries are intervening. Nine ministries will coordinate. Ministry of Tribal Affairs will be the apex ministry for delivering the outcome of this entire program, right? Of all the intervention, the PM Genman housing scheme is considered as one of the flagship intervention by the government. Under this housing program, uh, 2.39 lakh rupees will be given in three installments through direct benefit transfer for the uh, beneficiary PVTG. Almost 4.9 lakh PVTG households has been identified as beneficiaries under this housing initiative. See, all other initiatives will benefit the entire PVTG as a whole, but this housing scheme, individual PVTG household will be identified and this benefits will be transferred. So it is considered to be one of the important significant aspect of this PM Genman scheme. So 2.39 lakh rupees will be given in three installments through direct benefit transfer to the particularly vulnerable tribal group, beneficiary tribal group, okay. Not for all PVTG, for beneficiary PVTG, 4.9 lakh households has been identified as beneficiaries under this program. Now, specifically in implementing this housing program, there are some challenges which was also discussed as a part of the editorial. What is the challenge? So, if I am the PBTG, if I am the beneficiary, if I want to get enrolled under the scheme, then I have to submit my MGNR, EGA, job card data, I have to submit my Aadhaar data, I have to give my bank details, right? There are some issues here. Let's say if I am a PBTG, if I do not have Aadhaar card, what will happen? Right, many Mandrega job cards data is being deleted in the government database. If my data is deleted in the government database, what will happen? Right, to find some solution, when I go to the government frontline workers like village administrative offices, when I go and meet them, there are some inherent prejudice, bias, discrimination. The PVTs are not treated well. So because of this also, the real intention of the scheme is not uh, passing on to the intended beneficiaries. The outcome is not uh, delivered, right? Along with that, I said under this program, 2.39 lakh rupees will be distributed in uh, three installments through direct benefit transfer. That means the amount will go to the accounts of the PVTG. Many PVTGs, they have bank account in the post office, India Post Payment Bank. In that payment bank, they are having accounts. But, so the beneficiaries are getting enrolled through an application, through an uh, Genman scheme application. In that application, a list of banks are being given. In that list of banks, India Post Payment Bank is not listed. And India Post Payment Bank is not listed, then how they will choose the banking option and how the money will be coming to their bank account. Right? So, these are some issues in the implementation process. So, government has come up with uh, uh, scheme which is really intending to benefit the particularly vulnerable tribal groups. But on the implementation process, we see some hiccups. These hiccups has to be addressed, 
right there should be some alternative choice for other uh, mgnr ega job card status the frontline workers has to be more trained the frontline workers they have to focus on last mile service delivery last mile public service delivery should be the actual intention of the public servants they have to take some extra effort to address the needs of the pbtgs they are their name itself says they are particularly vulnerable tribal group so their vulnerability has to be addressed for which the frontline government officials needs proper training from rule based they have to go for role based bureaucracy right they should become a role based civil servant right they have to understand their role and they have to ensure the last mile delivery of public service and also the complex banking options has to be addressed india post uh, payment bank option should be added in that list of banks right so that uh, without any uh, hassles the pbtgs are able to get enrolled and able to get the benefits of this pm janman scheme friends when we look at the uh, total number of pbtgs in the country it is just 45 lakhs when you look at the economic contribution made by the pbtgs which may not be that significant right because of their you know uh, numerical strength low numerical strength because of their poor contribution to economy we should not neglect the pbtgs right society includes everyone when we say india that includes everyone when we say development that should include everyone when we say that we have to achieve a developed economy status by 2047 that should result in development of every section of society irrespective of their numerical strength and irrespective of their economic contribution for example about economic contribution the role played by pbtg is very significant in conserving the environment in conserving the ecology in conserving various species medicinal herbs in the name of sacred groves they are protecting significant species right their contribution their significance their traditional practice everything has to be protected and respected in this backdrop pm janman scheme aims to address their vulnerabilities right so the need of the hubber is to address the hiccups and ensure effective delivery of the public services to the pbtg right friends i hope you got clarity on pbtgs and this pm janman scheme in particular so based on our discussion let me give you a question several factors contribute to the high degree of vulnerability faced by particularly vulnerable tribal groups in india in this context examine how pm janman aims to address these vulnerabilities this will be a 15 marker question so you have to write to 50 words so plan your answer accordingly right friends i hope this initiative is adding value to your preparation i will see you tomorrow with another interesting editorial analysis till then bye take care